Good morning. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Better. So welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. <laughs> and for today's video, I have a cup of coffee. It is currently 6 o'clock in the morning and I have a bunch of PC parts as you can probably see. I won't make this intro too long, but long story short, my brother-in-law needs a PC and I'm gonna build him one. I'd like to go ahead and address that I am very, very lucky when it comes to my job. I have a wonderful partner like ASUS ROG to help me get some parts. Um, they sent me some of these over, over time and I haven't been able to use them and I feel kind of bad because, well, I don't like when parts collect dust. So I decided for the month of February, I was going to spread the PC gaming love to my brother-in-law. Quick backstory on him, he is currently working from home. He is working off of a very old laptop that gets the job done, but not quite enough. His office isn't the most ergonomic setup by any means either, but I decided, man, if I'm your sister-in-law, you're gonna have a kick-ass office. That's just a part of it. So for this video, I'm gonna be building this PC, gonna be redoing his office a little bit, and just giving him a wonderful setup. Let's go ahead and go over the parts super quick. I will leave an actual list down in the description below if you guys wanna learn more. But most of these parts are either used or have been sent to me by ASUS for past projects. This case, the motherboard that's in here currently, and this cooler, and what else was sent to me. Um, I, some stuff was sent to me for a build battle that I did with ASUS ROG where basically I assembled PC components into a case and had a little build battle challenge against some other people. We have the ASUS ROG Strix LC240 RGB AIO cooler. That's a name and a half. Here it is. It's RGB. We also have, believe it or not, an RTX 2060 Super. Thank you ASUS for this. GPUs are so hard to come by. For the motherboard, we have an ASUS Prime Z390A. Also a used motherboard. I have some screws. That's, that's good. Believe it or not, I have some NZXT fans because I don't know if I have enough fans in this case. Speaking of the case, I believe a lot of these components, including the case, are from a pre-built. So if I don't have a listing for the PC component down below, that's why. It's from a pre-built. We have an M.2 SSD, the 970 EVO Plus. We have 16 gigs of Corsair RGB RAM, clocked in at 3200 megahertz. We have a two terabyte hard drive as well. And I also have this processor. This was actually used in my VR PC for the longest time. It's not actually an i7-8700K. It's an i5-8600K. I had to change the packaging. <laughs> what else do I have? Um, some power cable extensions if I want to make it pretty, which I may, I may not, I don't know. Um, I have some RGB strip lights. I, I'm just gonna throw things together and see what we come up with. Shall we start? I've talked enough. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I have tools. Microfiber cloth, my screwdriver kit. Yep, you know the drill. To start off this build, I'm taking out this motherboard that's in here. There's already a power supply in there. Things are already routed through because it was a pre-built, I think. Um, the motherboard in here is the ROG Strix Z490 A gaming motherboard. I'm keeping that for myself. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. And I'm gonna clean this up and uh, we'll see where we're at after that. Sound good? Y'all want a close-up of this motherboard? Here you go. It's very aesthetic. I like it. Um, and the processor is an i7-10700K. So I'm putting that in another PC. That's mine. Okay. Here's what we got. It is dusty. I will fix it. Actually, it's not dusty at all. It was just the power supply shroud. Cool. Okay. Now it's motherboard time. Ta-da! Motherboard. I don't know if I should be like walking you guys through these steps. I'm just kind of building, I guess. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll try and do an actual PC building tutorial video or something. But for now, I'm just going to kind of, I'm just going to build this. Behold, look at this processor. I used this thing in my VR lab PC for when I played virtual reality and it worked great. And hopefully this is going to work great for him too. I hope you guys can see everything. Okay. So we lift up the retention arm like so. Match up the processor according to the arrows, kind of just zhuzh it in like so. Drop it. Do a little wiggle test. He's in. We close. It's gonna feel forceful, but it's fine. And this pops right off. Hello. Thank you. By the way, PC building tip, always save these. You never know when you need to ship your motherboard back and you need this to do that. Next up, RAM. I'm currently looking up the motherboard manual because I wanna make sure that I'm putting the RAM in the correct slots to run dual channel. Whatever motherboard you have, check the manual. Your RAM slots probably won't go in one, two. They might go here, here, or here, here. I'm gonna guess here, here. The manual will tell you. I hope you guys can see that okay, but I was correct. So, boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Look at how pretty that is with the white. Does that look good? Now to install 
This guy, he goes on the motherboard. This is gonna go here, but I need the standoff screw. They look like this. I hope you can see that okay. I'll show you how to install them, I guess. Can you see this okay? First things first, unscrew this. This is what it looks like. This is like a thermal pad thing. We're gonna peel this off before we actually apply it to the storage, so hang on to that. These screws are so tiny, look. Here's the standoff, and here's what we're gonna use to actually, yes. I'll show you, I'll show you. This little guy, right here. When did I get thermal paste on myself? Where did that come from? What? Oh goodness. I'm just screwing it in by hand. No need to over tighten it. Then slide him into here, like so. Go on, go on. Press him down, like so. Screw him in. There you go. Next, I'm gonna peel this off, like so, and put it back on. <laughs> and there you go, all installed. Our motherboard looks super prepped, but let's go ahead and take a look at the case, because I want to figure out the, uh, the fan situation. Okay, from what I can tell, there are no fans in the front of the case. I don't like that. Thankfully, I have some leftover NZXT fans. Well, my dad built his own PC, and he put in RGB fans, so we have leftover case fans. I'm gonna take those and put them in here, where we're using them. I think what I wanna do, two fans up front, yes, intake. I wanna do CPU cooler up top, one, two, right? And then just keep this guy right here. I mean, he's small, he means well. Yes, I like this plan, I like this plan. What is this? What did I do? What is this? How do I take this front panel off? Sorry, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Okay. Hey, so I made a little oversight with this case. I've been trying to make this case work, I guess. Um, I could put the fans up front, like they fit. I can do it, but there's one problem. There isn't a hard drive bay. Ah. <sighs> I completely overlooked that. I could just buy an SSD, slap it on the back here and call it a day, but I don't want to buy any more storage. <laughs> so I have a solution. We're going to use a different case. I'm going to save this case for another project. Um, I'm also going to keep the power supply in here. Uh, I think I have a 650 watt power supply on standby. We'll have to go look at what I have. So now I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm going to go get some other parts. Do you want to help me pick out a PC case? Here we are in one of my guest rooms. Now we have two choices when it comes to PC cases. First up is this one. I don't know the exact name of it, but Fantex Evolve X, I guess. Sure, totally. Um, a very, very pretty case. Fantex sent this to me a while ago, and I actually wanna build a PC in this for myself. Uh, my PC in my um, office is a Fantex and through Evolve uh, tempered glass edition. So I think this will match it really well if I do a dual PC setup. Hello, cat. Yep, you think so too? I know. Also, this PC case is gray, and I don't think it's gonna suit the aesthetic of the build. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? <laughs> Just gonna jump on the PC case? Okay. And now for our second choice in a PC case, we have Fractal Designs Mesh 5C. It is a wonderful case. I'm sure you've seen it online. Um, I have it in white. Let me go ahead and pull it out so you can see it better. You gonna jump on top of the PC case too? I understand. Here we are with the Fractal Design Meshify C. It looks awesome. Um, it's kind of small on the inside, but I think it'll be exactly what we need for the PC. Um, I like how there's a bunch of white and black. I think that'll suit our theme really well. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I think the choice is obvious here. Kind of want to go with this one. I was thinking about using this case to build a PC for this guest room. I thought it would suit the uh, color scheme very well, but you know what, Steve? You can have this PC case. I think it's exactly what he needs. And also, I love the front here with this little geometric pattern. What do you think? Oh, you're just trying to get in there? Of course you are. Okay, so I'm taking this one. Let's go ahead and grab a power supply too. I have a couple components that I keep in this closet up here. I have this big old power supply, which I don't know what I'm gonna use for yet, but I also have this one, which I think we're gonna go ahead and use. I also keep random extra fans in this cooler box as well, but I'm gonna take this, come here. It's kinda heavy. Oh God, oh. Okay, shall we resume? I am so excited to build in this case. Look at just the white and the black together. The combination looks so clean. These grommets for cable management, yes. Fan, yes. One fan at the front, okay. That might need to be changed. But look at just the, the color coordination here. I think it's gonna look so good. So the plan for cooling, I'm gonna take this fan, I'm gonna move it up front so I have two intake, and then I'm gonna put in the AIO cooler up top here. 
Sound good? And if I need to add any more fans, I definitely have plenty on standby. Without further ado, let's continue. If y'all are wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm putting in the mounts for the motherboard. The motherboard's gonna sit on top of these and then I can screw it in. And now we put in the motherboard. And now I'm gonna screw it in. I don't know how much of the camera I'm blocking, but just a friendly reminder what I personally like to do, I like to go corner to corner. So corner, 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 corner. I don't know. I just learned that when I was a technician. I think it's better for the parts because instead of it just going like kind of laying down like this, which could apply uneven pressure, you go do 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 it so it kind of goes down flat. And what does that make sense? I hope so. All I know is old habits die hard. And did I get all the screws? Let me see. Uh, one more. You can't hide from me. There we go. Look how pretty it is. Wow. Okay, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and put together the cooler radiator. Fan, fan. AIO coolers look so cool, no pun intended, but man, they hurt my wrist after a while. But we're done. Where the heck did my AIO screws go? What? I miraculously lost all of them. How has this happened? What the heck? There we go. Do you see that clearance with the RAM? It's close, but we're we're good. Oh, it's freaking me out though. Let me give you a closer look at this clearance if you can see it. Look at it. Look at it. It clears, but it's a little close. I put the plastic part of the bouncing bracket on the back of the motherboard. Now I'm just putting in the screws so that the AIO cooler can actually screw onto the CPU. Now it's time to actually mount the pump onto the CPU. Now this comes with thermal paste on it, but I wanna use my own thermal paste because I just want to, okay? It's totally fine, this will work, but I just like to use my own. So I'm going to wipe it off with some isopropyl alcohol, if you can see that. And I'm gonna be using a paper towel. There we go. And now it's time. I'm gonna be using this thermal paste and I have one go at this because if you push it down and then pick it up again and then push it down, you can create bubbles and that's not good for thermals. So I have one shot, let's do it. I think that's a little too much, I'm gonna wipe it off. Honestly, it probably wasn't too much at all but I would feel better if I try again. Fun fact, it is okay to mess up while you're building a PC. Let's try again. I like that way better. It's a little messy but I like this a lot better. There we go. Nice and pressed on. Now we screw it in. By the way, I do recommend screwing this part in by hand because if you use a tool, sometimes you can over tighten it and can damage the motherboard. I have seen it happen. There we go. I'm gonna wait until the end of the build to peel this off because I want it to be super shiny. Hello friends, it's the next day that I'm working on this PC build because I ran into a little problem. I learned a little something special when it comes to RGB. I thought all RGB headers were the same, but there's a difference. This motherboard's a little bit older, but the RGB header on it is a four pin with 12 volts. A lot of other motherboards, especially newer ones, have a three pin RGB header with five volts. There's a big difference between them. You cannot plug the three pin into the four pin. You risk blowing up your PC, don't recommend. The three pin RGB header is for addressable RGB, which is totally different from regular RGB. Needless to say, this motherboard has four pin RGB headers and my cooler has three pin. So I can't use the RGB right now. With that being said, I can eventually. There is a certain component that lets me do that online, but it's not in stock for about a month. So I can't really do RGB right now, but I'm still gonna use this cooler because it looks cool, and if Steve wants RGB fans down the line, I have no problem installing that for him. But for now, no RGB on the fans. I'm sorry. I'm upset too, but hey, it is what it is. Shall I show you guys what the three pin looks like? Yeah, here's an educational moment. Can you guys see that okay? See, it's three pin. Can you believe it? I would have never known. Either way, the build shall continue. Next, we're going to go ahead and plug in the front panel connectors. This is the USB, as you can see. This is um, audio for when you want to plug in a headset. And these little ones, which are always the fun part, not really. Um, this is power button, reset button, LEDs, all that jazz. So I'm going to route these through the front and I'll show you why I plug them in. This plug won't fit in here or here. What the heck? I gotta put it through there. Look at how prominent it is. Whatever. It needs to work. All of these little ones are going to be going over... Can you see it? Over here in this corner. And I'm going to lay the PC down for this one. I don't know if y'all can see, but right there, I connected all the front panel connectors, 
and I connected them according to what the motherboard says. In each motherboard manual, it'll have instructions on how to do this, so there you go. Moving on. Next up, I'm putting in the hard drive, which I'm going to put in this little hard drive bay. I'm going to slide it in the back. We're going to connect the SATA cable as well so we can actually read from the hard drive. I'm going to route it through here, and it's going to go right here. Oh, did I move the PC case? My bad. There it is. Right there. And now for the fun part. The power supply. It's so heavy. Okay, what do we need power here? CPU, we need this big boy cable, we need um, a power cable for the hard drive, and graphics card. Okay. Would you look at that power supply? That's a nice power supply. Big boy power cable. CPU cable. Graphics card. And for the hard drive. And maybe even the LED light strip. Not sure yet. That should be all the power cables that we need. I haven't really had much to say in this building process. Um, are you guys learning something? Is this entertaining? Uh, is there anything I can do to improve? Let me know. I would like to build more PCs for the channel, but I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I mean, this isn't my first build, nor my second, nor my third. How many builds have I done on YouTube? Huh. By the way, the power supply fan is facing down. You don't want it to face up because... Explosion. Well, not actual explosion, but it would get really hot. I also want to mention I do still have these power cable extensions. They're white. They're gonna look pretty. Let's plug them in. I can also go ahead and plug in this power into the hard drive. This one doesn't need an extension because it's not gonna be seen from the front, so who cares? I'm also gonna go ahead and plug in the stuff up front. Now, how am I gonna get the CPU? How? It's all the way up in here. Okay. I'm gonna change the cooler for a couple of reasons. One, I can't even get these cables up in the corner. Two, I can't use RGB on this motherboard. And I don't know how good converters work. Uh, I'm down to try it, but I don't know. And three, once I actually get the graphics card in here, I feel like these tubes are going to lean on it and I'm just not comfortable with that. What if a leak happens, you know? With that being said, I do have a cooler on standby. Let me grab it. It's nothing fancy by any means. It has been used, so I'll have to clean it here in a bit. But um, this was also in the Asus ROG build battle that I did, and just a simple old air cooler. I don't think Steve's going to need anything too crazy, so this should be just fine. Here's the box for the cooler if you guys are interested. It does have lighting on it, so that's something. And it's white. It'll, it'll match. So without further ado, let's take this out. I gotta clean up this cooler first, too. I should have put this on at the very beginning, but... I didn't, and I don't know why. I was very hopeful for the RGB, I guess. Oh, well. The AIO will be useful in another build, I'm sure. I'm going to take this out and clean it. I went ahead and cleaned it super quick. I use a data vac, by the way, for anybody who wants to know. Get one of these. If you're a PC enthusiast, get one. All right, we go again. There we go. I do like the accent of the white with the CPU cooler. Okay, now that I don't have an AIO in here anymore, I want to add a fan on the back here. I kinda wanna add one up here too, but maybe just here to add like a tunnel effect. But maybe I should have one up here too, I don't know. Um, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna add these two Corsair fans, I think. If you can see them both, yep. I'm gonna go ahead and add these. I'm not really big on the gray fans versus the black fans here, but Hey, you know, function. Oh, I forgot to record, I am so sorry, but I went ahead and put in the two fans, one right here and one right here. Now let's go ahead and put in the graphics card. Okay, I'm gonna take our card and just gonna open up this. It is open, yes, it's open. And we're gonna put it in. Wait, I have to get this one too, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we put it in. Here is what I've got so far, pretty pieced together. I just want to see if it's actually going to work, so I'm going to try and power it on. Oh boy, okay, please have power, please. Okay, 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 that's a really good sign, okay. Now please, please, please work. Okay, ready? Oh, it's working! Look! Oh, the two front fans are not spinning though. That's a problem, but hey! Do we, can we get a post? Can we get a post? Can we get a post? Is that a possibility to get a post? Oh. Hello? Okay. 
Well, that was fun while it lasted. That's not a good sign. Oh, hello again! How goes it? <laughs> Post? 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 Nope. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, I thought the front fans weren't spinning. They're actually spinning. So everything's working, except for the actual post itself, which I'm gonna figure out here in a second. Alright guys, I have been flip-flopping graphics cards around just to see if it might be the motherboard in here that's not working. Um, so I threw in my 1070 Ti from my Facebook gaming PC. I will leave that video down below as well. Um, but it works. So I'm gonna try the other graphics card. I'm gonna try this guy. I'm gonna put him in my Facebook PC. Just flip-flop him around and see if he's the problem. Please don't mind my cat, she means well. I'm here with my Facebook PC and honestly, I can't put this in because it keeps running into this right here. So I can't even test to see what's going on. Dang it. Hello, I changed some stuff in my BIOS and now I can't get to the BIOS, so I'm gonna remove the CMOS battery right here. He's a little guy, all I gotta do is press the tab, like so. There we go, he's out. I'm gonna let him chill for a bit, maybe about 10 seconds, and I'll put him right back in, and uh, hopefully that'll reset our BIOS so I can do stuff again. I'm updating the BIOS. I probably should've done this a while ago, but I'm doing it now. Yep, yep. It's gonna be this file. Don't wanna read it? I do. Yes. Now we wait. And it is extremely important that we don't lose power during this process, because if we do, bye bye PC. No matter what I do, I can't get this graphics card to display anything, so I have a potential solution. Hello friends, it's the next day, and um, I've got a little something. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. I know exactly what you're thinking. This is an RTX 3070. No, I am not putting it in Steve's build. <laughs> Long story short, I can't get the RTX 2060 Super to work in his PC. I think it's just the shape. It won't let me seat it all the way into the slot. So I'm gonna try a different graphics card. I'm sure y'all know that I have a PC that is dedicated for virtual reality. It's the Little Guy PC. I also built it for a video. I'll leave that down below. It has a 2070 in it, which is a fantastic card, but I've been meaning to upgrade to this 3070 anyway. So I'm gonna switch out the card. I'm gonna test his PC and we'll see where we go from there. By the way, I keep pointing up here because the Little Guy PC is sitting on a shelf. It's very out of the way, very ergonomic for my setup. He's a good PC. I'm gonna grab him really quick though. I love this little PC by the way, but if you can see, uh, the graphics card clearance with the 2070 is so unbelievably close to the AIO cooler, and the 3070 is a little bit smaller, so it'll make me feel a lot better. Let us begin. Now I know why I was so hesitant on doing this graphics card swap, because look at how tight everything is. I can't even get to the clasp. Good lord. If y'all want to see a size difference, here you go. It's pretty much the same thickness, but it's less lengthy. Okay, I didn't record too much of the graphics card swap because that was stressful. Um, I had to take out the cable little doohickey thing that hides all of these, so now this doesn't look very good, but it's functional. Hopefully, I gotta power it on first. Do I have time for that right now? No, I gotta build a PC. But the point is, we have extracted the 2070. At least it looks a little better with the side panel on. All right guys, RTX 2070 is installed. I'll change out this uh, in a bit, I promise. Just wanna see if it works first, but shall we give this a go? All right. Look, oh, the RGB looks so good. Please work. Yes, it works, yes, thank you. Thank you! I'm so happy! Yes, it works! I'm so, so happy and it looks amazing! Yay! I'm so happy! I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more aesthetic changes, like uh, changing out this power cable, combing the power cables, uh, maybe doing a little bit more cable management, and um, we're gonna send this his way, I guess. What do you guys think? Look, I should probably power it on, right? Okay. Should I turn out the lights too? Let's do that. I am so, so happy with how this PC turned out. I didn't really buy much for this. I bought the storage, I bought the RAM, but besides that, I built this from PC components that I've had laying around. I'd also like to go ahead and say that I'm extremely, extremely lucky with my job. Um, I have PC components that are sent my way every now and then, and sometimes I stockpile them and don't know what to do with them. So 
here you go. What better way to recycle them than to give them to somebody who's going to use them every day? I'm going to go ahead and take this PC over to my sister's house. We're going to set it up in Steve's office. We're going to make his office a little bit more fancy as well. And I'll see you guys over there, okay? <laughs> Hello. Hi, can I come in? Yeah. Wow, you guys were not expecting me. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what have we got going on here? What is this room that we're in right now? My mess is what this is. <laughs> my mess. This is where I dwell. And I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, let's talk about this desk situation. Nah. First of all, you're literally not even a foot off the ground. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this desk, I've, good lord, I've had since like middle school. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's the hutch actually to it. I just the top to it. Yeah, I just took it off because I needed proof for my monitors. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. So you're working off a laptop and a single monitor right now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. This monitor you just got for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And it's a very nice monitor. <laughs> it is. I love this thing. No, it definitely makes work easier, but yes. I'm still on the little desk. <laughs> yeah, you're on a very, very small desk. If I may get a look no. at this, it's a small desk. So the first thing I'm going to recommend is a new desk. Yeah. Corner desk. Yes? Yeah. Yes. I need, a I need more room mm -hmm. than this. You need a new chair, a desktop PC, right? Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Instead yep. of front on the laptop. You need more comfort while you're while you're yeah. working from home, especially, right? Yeah. Well, then we're gonna make sure that your spot where you work is really good and yes. really productive. So it needs to be dope. <laughs> it will be. It absolutely will be. In my space. <laughs> we have to keep this. <laughs> that that is a centerpiece. I love my little trash can. <laughs> I'm gonna close the door, and when I open it, it's gonna be different. Ready? Look at that setup. Holy. Wow. That's a difference. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Be honest. Holy sh. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's so sick. Do you like it? That is really cool, actually. <laughs> that is really, really awesome. Holy Yay! crap. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, you like the wallpaper too? This is that's awesome. Much better than my last one. <laughs> Holy crap! I love it. I'm that so glad so you do. Cool. Oh. <laughs> that is so awesome. I can't get over this. This right? is right. It's big. It's big. Big boy. <laughs> it is. It's oh. beefy. It's got an RTX 2070 in it. That is a very powerful card. Right. And um, if you need to run any games, you can. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> wow. Man, many games will be run um, upon this thing. Excellent. Good lord. Yay. Man. This is so awesome. Thank you so much. Of course. I'm so happy that you can use these parts, honestly. <laughs> they were just going to collect dust. So I'm so happy. <laughs> that, looks, that looks clean. Oh, do you want to do the iconic peel? <gasps> really, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my god. That is super sick. I love that. Yay, I'm so glad you do. <laughs> Yay. I can't get over this. Yep. This is so awesome. It's yours now. <laughs> you can turn out the lights and it's even more RGB. Yep. Ready? Ready, ready, ready? Boom. Oh my god, that looks really cool. <laughs> Does that look cool? <laughs> It does. I don't know what to say. That yep. is really cool. I love the inspiration here. That's yes, really yes. I wanted to make the colors look like Destiny. See with the with the white and the orange and the white and the orange. I thought it was cool. But yeah, this is your new workspace, your new gaming space, your new living space. You live here forever now. I really do. <laughs> yes, I do. Come check it out. Hello. Let me let me know what you think. Puppers? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's so cool. She themed it after the ghost. Yep. Oh, that's perfect! <laughs> do you like it? I do. Yay! And I can control the lights on my phone. Yep. <laughs> of course you I can. I turned them all white. Of course you can. Yay. It's not a Butters build without uh, LEDs all over <laughs> the
<laughs> it's true. <laughs> I just got home from setting up Steve's office and he seemed to like it a lot and even my sister liked it too, which is wonderful. This was a super fun project and I really want to do this again sometime soon. Any excuse to build a PC. I definitely learned a lot too, especially with swapping around graphics cards and RGB headers. I had no idea. Gotta make sure there's also a hard drive bay when I'm picking out a case. There was a lot of tinkering in this video. I hope you guys don't mind. And now we're at the end of the video, but before I go, I also do want to mention that ASUS ROG is running a giveaway for a gaming PC, so if you guys want to check it out, click the link down below. Highly recommend. Haha! -ha. Aren't you happy you watched through the entire video to see that there's a giveaway? Yes! It's good, and you can go enter and gaming PC giveaway. Also, huge shout out to ASUS. Thank you so much for taking good care of me and making sure that I'm equipped to do the content creation and gaming things. I really, really appreciate it. I will always find a way to pass along the love of PC gaming to other people in my life. No component shall go to waste. That's all I got. Like, comment, face, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Whatever I make, bye 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 I am tired. I plan on editing this right now and getting it uploaded as soon as possible. We'll see what happens, but um, yeah, long day. A lot of tinkering, which is great. It actually reminded me of my, my past jobs as a service technician. Uh, yeah, I used to fix PCs and printers and projectors and stuff back in the day. Uh, not anymore, but that was nice. That was fun. I like tinkering. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm learning stuff because you learn more from your losses than you do your wins, right? Yes, it's right. Thank you. Thank you for answering. I really appreciate it. That was very kind of you. I can hear you right now. No, I can't. I'm a YouTube video. Bye. Oh my god. My intros are so intros? My outros are so bad. Okay, Hannah, stop the recording. Just just end it.